Republicans Donald Trump and Ted Cruz on Sunday tried to temper expectations on how they will do in the first U.S. presidential nominating contest in Iowa on Monday, reflecting unease about the unpredictability of the race in the state. Iowa will set the table for American voters, offering the first measure of how strong outsider candidates like billionaire businessman Trump and Democratic Socialist Bernie Sanders stand against more traditional politicians like Republican Senator Marco Rubio of Florida and Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton. Hours before Iowa's caucuses were to begin with voters clustering in school gymnasiums and church basements, Trump and Cruz, a senator from Texas and Tea Party favorite, reflected some anxiety about how well they will do as they and other candidates made their final pitches at rallies across the Midwestern state. A Des Moines Register slash Bloomberg News poll of Iowa voters released on Saturday showed Trump in the lead with 28 percent, Cruz second at 23 percent and Rubio in third with 15 percent. Clinton, a former Secretary of State, Senator and First Lady, clung to a narrow 45 percent to 42 percent lead over Sanders putting the senator from Vermont in position for a potential shock win that would be a harsh blow to Clinton. How Iowa will vote, however, is notoriously difficult to predict since it is never quite certain how many people will show up to caucus. The central mystery about Trump's campaign in Iowa has been whether he can convert voter enthusiasm for him into turnout at the caucuses. Trump, a non-politician who has never sat through a nerve-wracking night of vote counting, was not predicting victory in interviews and stump speeches. No, I don't have to win it, he told CBS's Face the Nation when asked whether he needed to win Iowa. But I think it would be really good to win Iowa. After touting his poll numbers for months, Trump told an event in Davenport, Iowa on Saturday night, it all doesn't matter if you don't caucus on Monday. The polls don't matter. The only thing that matters is the poll that is taken on Monday. Cruz, who saw his lead in the state overtaken by Trump but may have a stronger turnout operation, also tried to lower expectations. No, we don't view any state as a must-win, Cruz told CNN. We are positioned to do very well. Ten Republicans and three Democrats are campaigning in Iowa for their party's nominations, but much of the focus has been on the fight between Cruz and Trump and their uneasy relationship with the Republican establishment. Trump described Cruz as a nasty guy who had not scored key endorsements in the Senate, and would have trouble leading change in Washington. Nobody likes him and, you can't run a country that way. It will be a total mess. It will be worse gridlock than you have right now, Trump said in an interview with ABC's This Week. Cruz attacked Trump on CNN's State of the Union, calling Trump's refusal to appear on stage at Thursday night's Republican debate in Des Moines a real mistake and likening Trump's views to those of Democratic President Barack Obama and Sanders. I think it was because he didn't want his record questioned, Cruz said. I get that it is unpleasant to have your record subject to scrutiny, to be potentially criticized, but this is a job interview.